uh, like I was sharing with you, you're gonna get a little bit of sweating. It's not gonna be like Zumba, but you're gonna get a good stretch. So we're gonna get started standing up. And we're gonna make sure our feet are hip width apart. So our hip width apart is typically smaller than we may think. I like us to take our fists and put them in between our feet. Putting your fists in between your feet will help you know that that is your hip width apart. So again, just taking your fists, putting them in between your feet, and that is typically your hip width apart. All right. Looking down at our feet, we're gonna focus, we always focus on our foundation in any pose, all right? So I like to talk about our feet and show you that you have four corners of your feet. So we're gonna put our weight into our toes. So I want you to lift those heels up and come on to the balls of your feet, making sure you're engaging your bottom, bringing those butt cheeks together, engaging your core. So bring that belly button towards your spine. Good. Coming on down, coming on to the outer corners of your feet, lifting the inner soles off of your mat. Good. Now let's come on to our heels, lifting your feet up. And if you have a wall or not, it's okay, but it's okay if you wobble. So lifting the heels up or coming onto the heels. So the feet. Then coming on the inner soles, so the inner part of your feet. Good, so that's the four corners of your feet. So press your four corners of your feet into your mat. Yoga is all about being aware of your body. We have so many different areas of our body. And so it's important that I share with you what, what you have. So now you're aware of those four corners. I really want you to press all four corners of your feet down into the mat. Bend your knees, engage your bottom. So bringing those butt cheeks together bringing that belly button towards your spine, rolling your shoulders up, back and down, palms are forward, looking straight ahead, lifting your chest up. We're gonna just roll our neck, so dropping your right ear towards your right shoulder. Right ear towards your right shoulder. Good. Dropping your chin to your chest. Left ear to left shoulder and then gently allow your head to fall back and look up at the ceiling. Right ear to right shoulder and if you would like you can take that right hand and pull the right ear closer to your shoulder and the left hand can rest on the side of your left thigh. Noticing as you're pulling your right ear towards your right shoulder, what is your jaw doing? Is it clenched? And if it is, <laughs> if it is, you can just relax. Good, and just put that arm down, both arms to your sides, chin to chest. Left ear to left shoulder, taking that left hand on top on the side of your head and pulling that left ear to the left shoulder. And we want to create space in between our ear and our shoulder. We don't want to scrunch up our shoulder to our ear to get there. We want to create space. So relaxing that shoulder, dropping that shoulder down so you have more room for the left ear to go to the left shoulder, creating a deeper stretch, relaxing your jaw. Good. Allow your head to fall back. Both arms are by your sides. Good, let's do that one more time. Right ear to right shoulder. Adding the breath this time, breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. Dropping that head down, both arms by your sides, chin to chest, going to the left side. Breathing in 
Exhale, seeing if you can pull the left ear to the shoulder a little bit. Good, allow that head to fall back. Both arms are to your sides. Gently bring that head up so you're looking straight ahead. Rolling those shoulders up, back and down. Shaking it out, getting our blood flowing. We've just waken, woken up, You're just moving how you want. And meet me at the back of your mat. So same thing with our feet. So just readjusting as you need, making sure your feet are hip width apart. Pressing all four corners of your feet into the mat. So those toes, both sides of your feet and your heels. I want you to press, press, press down. I want you to press so hard actually that the, the middle of the bottom of the middle of your foot, it kind of like suction cups up, okay? So really exaggerating that pressing. Bending those knees, engaging your bottom, bringing that belly button towards your spine, rolling your shoulders up, back and down. Palms are forward, looking straight ahead. We're gonna inhale and we're gonna reach up, reach, reach. And you're gonna exhale and you're gonna fold your upper body down. So you have three options here, the floor, your arms can be, or your front of your shins, or your thigh. So thigh, shins, or floor. The more you bend your knees, the more accessible the floor will be for you. So I really encourage you to bend your knees. Relax your neck, relax your jaw, and breathe. On your next exhale, you're gonna roll your body up. Roll that body up slowly. Let's do that again, we're up again, looking straight ahead. Inhale, reach up, reach, reach, reach up. Exhale, fold. Relaxing your neck, relaxing your jaw. Breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Feeling the stretch behind your like thighs, your knee area, bending those knees. Good, slowly roll up. Very good, inhale, reach up, reach, reach, reach. This time we're gonna fall back. So we're gonna drop our upper body back for a little back bend, dropping our upper body back Pushing our pelvis forward, fold, come back to that forward fold. Roll that body up. We're gonna do that full backward bend again. Inhale, reach up, reach, reach, reach. Exhale, fall back. Allowing the upper body to fall back, pushing the pelvis forward. Push, push, push the pelvis forward. Fold, relaxing your jaw, taking a deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. Good, inhale, halfway lift, flat back. So all we're doing is bringing our upper body halfway and our back is flat like a table. Looking straight ahead, my hands are on my shins. Exhale, fold, we're gonna do that again. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. 
We're gonna come on down to our knees. Come on down to your knees very gently. We're gonna come into a tabletop position. So our back is gonna stay just as straight as it was in that previous pose. Making sure your knees are hip width apart. Same with your feet, they're hip width apart. Resting the tops of your feet on your mat. Your hands are shoulder width apart, all right? And you're spreading your fingers nice and wide. I want you to see pieces of your yoga mat in between. I want you to see your yoga mat in between each finger. Press, press, press. So the same way we were pressing those feet into the mat, I really want you to press all 10 of your fingers into the mat so that your palm suction cups up. Good. Looking straight ahead. And when you're ready, we're gonna drop our belly down to the earth, lift our chest up. This is cow. Exhale, round your spine for cat. Looking in between your thighs. You can tuck your toes under if you would like. Inhale, dropping your belly. Lift your chest up. Exhale, round your spine. Dropping your belly, lifting that chest up. Relax your jaw. Exhale, round your spine. Inhale, dropping that belly, looking up at your ceiling. Relax your jaw, breathing in. Exhale, round your spine, looking in between your thighs as best as you can. Exhale, dropping that belly down to your mat. So we're going to do this a few more times. And maybe you want to hold one of the poses longer, and that's okay. Noticing the heat that we are creating in our bodies. Good. Rock your hips left and right. Very good, awesome. All right, so we're gonna now go into downward dog, okay? So you're, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna lift our butt up to the sky. So we started here and one piece, like one way to get up there is making sure you're engaging your core, okay? So what does that mean? Bringing that belly button up to the spine. So while you're here, Bring that belly button up to the spine, taking a deep breath in, and on the exhale, coming up. So we're here in our downward dog. We're bending our knees and our butt is up, allowing those heels to come up off of the mat, pressing all 10 of those fingers into the mat, breathing. Relax your jaw, knowing that you are safe in your body. Feeling your heart racing and beating. Feeling the heat you are creating. Just a few more breaths, you got it. Good. All right, put those knees back down. We're gonna do that again. So we're back in what's called our table top position because we look like a table. So we're bringing that belly button towards our spine, looking straight ahead. Take a deep inhale in through your nose. Exhale, lift the butt up, downward dog. Making sure you're breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Good, very good. Come down on your knees. Put those 
those big toes together. Open up your knees as wide as your yoga mat. So again, your big toes are coming together. You are opening up your knees as wide as your mat. If you look down at your thighs, you're making a V with your thighs. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. This is called child's pose. So we are folding down, palms are facing down, resting our forehead on our mat. And that butt, we want that butt to rest on our thighs. That is the goal. It is okay if you are a little bit up, that's all right. But I want your goal over, you know, the next few weeks and stuff for that butt to come back onto the heels. Making sure you're breathing in through your nose, out your mouth. And while you're here in child's pose, noticing where are you creating tension? Not creating, but where is the tension in your body? And I just want you to breathe into that area. Maybe it's your jaw, maybe it's your shoulders, maybe it's your lower back. And just breathing into that area. Good. Let's stand up. So meet me standing up at the back of your mat. All right, very good. So we're standing up again. Feet are hip width apart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. We're going to walk our hands to the front of our mat. Walk your hands to the front of the mat. So you're getting into a push-up. Okay, so you're in the push-up. You have two options. You could be here, or you can bring those knees down and do a modified push-up, resting the tops of the feet on the mat. So you could be here, but making sure you're engaging that core, that belly button is towards the spine, right? Good. So we're here in whichever push-up you are in, you're happy, you're smiling, and of course, we are breathing. Inhale, one more. Exhale, come down into that push-up. Inhale, bringing that upper body off of the mat, resting the tops of the feet on your mat, peeling the upper body up, 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 looking up at the ceiling. Exhale, down. We're going to do that again. Inhale, look. Exhale, down. One more. And then exhale, down. Come onto your knees and then come into downward dog. We're going to add, we're going to add. You got it. Bring that right leg up. See if that right leg can come up. Exhale, bring that right leg in between your hands. So however you need to get there, just put the right leg in between your hands. So we're here. Right leg is in between our hands. We're in a runner's lunge. And we're breathing. Good. Turn those back toes 45 degrees. You're going to come up for warrior one. Leaning into the right knee. Again, engaging the core. The core is in everything you do in yoga. You probably are realizing that, right? So we're strengthening our core, right? Breathing. Breathe in one more. Exhale, turn your upper body. Right hand is forward. Lean forward. Exhale, reverse. The left hand goes on the back of the left calf. The right hand is up. Reach a little bit more. Exhale, windmill the hands to the front foot. 
Turning all 10 toes forward, you're back in the runner's lunge. We're gonna gently place that left knee down, uncurl those back toes. And I want you to put both hands on the inside of your right foot. Both hands on the inside of the right foot. So we're gonna do what's called lizard pose. This is a great hip opener. So if you have tight hips, this is a good yoga pose to do. So you can be here on your hands, or if you wanna come on down to your forearms to get a deeper stretch, you can do that at this time. one hand on each side of the foot, lift that knee back up for your runner's lunge. We're gonna now put the right foot back with the left, so we're back in high plank. Good, we're back in our high plank, breathing in. Exhale, come down into your push-up. Inhale, come up, the upper body, just the upper body. Exhale, down. Inhale, upper body. Exhale down. Come onto your knees and meet me in downward dog. Lifting the butt up, the heels are up, the knees are bent, the head is dropped. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale, lift that left leg up. Good. You got it. Bring that left leg in between your hands. So get there however you need. I just want you to put the left leg in between your hands. Good. So we're in our runner's lunge for a few moments. We're breathing. We're relaxing our jaw. We're smiling. Turn the back toes 45 degrees. So whatever we do on one side, we have to do on the other. Come up when you're ready. Good. Inhale one more here. Exhale, turn your upper body. Okay, so we turned our upper body. So your upper body is 45 degrees. All right, so it's not completely like a parallel, it's 45 degrees. You are looking over your left hand. Your palms are facing down. Inhale, lean into that left knee. Exhale, come back. Right hand is resting on the right calf. Looking at the left hand in the sky. When you come forward, Hands are framing the front foot. All 10 toes are facing forward for runner's lunge. Breathing in, exhale. When you're ready, bring both hands on the inside of your left foot. So both hands are on the inside of your left foot. Gently place the back knee down uncurl those toes so you're resting the tops of that foot on the back of the mat good just a few more breaths we're opening up our hips. Our hips can be so, so tight. So just be patient with yourself as you are here. Good. Putting one hand on each side of the foot. Gently bring that right knee up. When you're ready, bring that left foot back for that high plank. 
Good. Gently come into that push-up, coming down. Inhale, peeling the upper body up. Exhale, coming down. When you're ready, take child's pose. Putting the big toes together, opening up your knees as wide as your yoga mat. And this is how we're gonna close, coming down into child's pose. Making sure you're breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. Awesome. Coming up, closing your thighs, and ending in easy pose where we crisscross our legs, rolling the shoulders up, back, and down. Just taking this final moment before we go into our busy day. And just acknowledging all of the great work that you've done. You moved your body. You created heat. You created energy. So that you can be better for you first and everyone else. Let's take one more deep breath in together. And outside out. Gently open your eyes.